Hey everyone, it's Jill with stampwithjill.com and today we are doing some hot glimmer foiling today. We are going to use the May Glimmer Foil Plate of the Month and you can see that one here and I'm going to use some matte gold foil today for this. So let's get started. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've lined up my cardstock with the one and the 11 on the grid lines. And what I did was I just marked the center point for each one and put a piece of washi tape in the middle. So when I put my four and a quarter, four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock, all I have to do is line it up with these lines and this washi tape here in the middle is going to mark the center. So because you can't see the foil beforehand, um, you want to make sure you take the few minutes to pre-measure. So if it's a little off the design I'm going for today, I'm going to trim it so it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, but I would like to get it as close to perfect as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and open my foil here and I'm peeling off the little sticker that holds it together. Um, doesn't really want to go today. Peel off. Probably should have peeled that off before I started filming, but it's okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-cut this to the size of my plate. And I'm just going to turn it over. And while my machine is heating up, we are just going to trim the edges so we don't overfoil my cardstock. I always forget to do this first, so yay for me today for not messing it up and doing it after the fact or pausing the camera. So there we go. We could actually trim this up a little bit, but I want to have close enough. All right, so then what we're going to do is we are going to put this on the machine and it's warm because it's heating, it's ready, but it's not so hot it's going to burn you. You can always use your pokey tool to um, line it up. So this particular foiled frame is really easy to line up. This should line up right with this line, and I made it bigger here with a post-it note. And then this should line up right here on there with the post-it note, which is actually this line, so I can move up just a smidge. And this way here, you're perfectly lined up. Now it's getting a little hot, so I just want to make sure I have it lined up on both sides. And I need to make sure that I stay centered for where I'm going to put my, um, there's tweezers for this. You don't have to use scissors. But, all right, so there you go. It doesn't take much to be fully lined up. And then we have the foil. To go ahead and put the foil on top, like so. Okay, so here is a lesson on what not to do. I put my foil face up and I foiled my plate. So guess what? That doesn't really come off and it doesn't really matter. So we definitely do not want to foil your plate. You want to foil your cardstock. So I've gone ahead and started over and I've relined it up where it's right on and I've also gotten my tweezers and I've relined it up where these little guys right here and these little guys right here are perfectly centered on the middle. So then what you're going to do is you're going to have your pre-cut cardstock, which I, of course, did not do when I started refilming. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a piece because this is pretty big. So the, the amount of overfoiling is not a big deal. So you do not do it this way. This will foil your plate. You want to put your foil color side down. So I did cut it a little too big because I need to be able to line up the card stock. So I am going to trim the corners. This is why you should have it on your die first and cut this first. But I've already messed up a few times. In fact, I actually foiled this plate twice. Whoops. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and put the foil side down. The colored side down and we're going to get it right on the end there so I want to be able to see the 1 and the 11 because that's what I lined my cardstock up with so there we go we're going to do that 
and we're gonna set the timer so it's gonna start blinking and I'm gonna take my four by five and a quarter cardstock and I'm gonna line it right up there with the one and the 11 and set it down so if you have seen my other foiling video you know that I need a shim so I'm gonna put my go ahead and put my glimmer plate on there and um, I just have this scrap piece of cardstock. You can see it's all kind of more uh, used. This is what I use for my shim and my machine. That way there I get the perfect foil. So then we're gonna go ahead and put these on top. I'm gonna put them on top when I get to my machine because um, this wiggles with double plastic on there. So we're still blinking. It's almost ready to go. I'm gonna pause the camera while I go ahead and run this through. All right, so I ran it through with my shim. You can see there's some steam under here. I'm gonna just go ahead and take it apart. And then when you peel this up and off, you can see I actually foiled the paper, not the plate. The good news is though, it doesn't matter if you foil your plate. I mean, I get maybe if you foil it a million times, it would matter. But you can see here that we have matte foil, so it's not as shiny and it's pretty darn close to centered. It's not perfect, but that's okay because I knew I was gonna trim this piece just a little bit. So let's get started on making the card with this panel. I'm gonna go ahead and move my glimmer machine out of the way. I have gone ahead and trimmed off a little bit over an eighth of an inch all the way around. So you can see here that it's just smaller than four by five and a quarter. So this is just an extra piece of cardstock. So then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use this oval die that comes in your monthly, um, comes with your glimmer plate, and I'm gonna cut a circle in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna put some washi tape on there to hold it in place so it doesn't wiggle or move, and I'm gonna go ahead and run that through my die cutting machine. Okay, so here is my panel all cut with the oval, perfectly centered. I have some matte gold cardstock in my stash and I cut that to four by five and a quarter so you can see that that is just the right amount of layering. So I have also gone ahead and heat gold embossed Happy Mother's Day for the sentiment. And that sentiment, I chose the fancy script one because it was dressier to go with the fancy foiling. And that comes from the stamp Simply Clear Stamps, and this is the All Occasion Set number one. And there's lots of scripty things in there. So I've also gone ahead and cut a window sheet, which is um, three by four. And I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere that on the back with some liquid glue. And we are going to create a shaker with some gold, pretty gold things in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and attach that with some liquid glue and give that a second to dry. So you can see now we have a window. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some foam tape to create the shaker. I'm just gonna grab that. So I have this here. Um, any foam tape will work, but this is gonna raise it up and keep it, um, give enough room for some sequins to wiggle around. So I like this one because it is not really, really puffy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this uh, shaker. I probably could have gone a little tighter to the oval on that piece, but we'll just tighten it up on this piece. And I'll just put it here for now. I'll just have to add a few extra sequins because I didn't go super, super close to the oval. So there's just more wiggle room for them to shake around. All right, so now we have that ready to add the sequins. And what we're gonna do is, my window's a little scratchy here, but hopefully when we put it all together, you won't see it. All right, so now this will be perfect for a wedding card as well. You can put congratulations in the center, but as you can see, the gold heat emboss is just matte enough where it matches. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add some sequins. Okay, so there was a little static on my window sheet and my 
um, gold cardstock. So I went ahead and I just rubbed that with my embossing buddy. And now I'm putting the sequins on my cardstock. So this, these are the gold friendship sequins from Spellbinders FSJ. They of course have to be gold because that's the theme of my card. So they're still a little static in there, but not enough for me to worry about them getting too stuck. So I just want to push them all to the middle of the window. And I did hold this in place to make sure I have enough. It was a little bit light, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a few more. Um, I repackaged my sequins from the container into this bead storage system. Works great if you have um, a lot of sequins that come in pouches, not containers. So the FSJ ones come in a really nice container. Um, I just was consolidating some of my storage. All right, so now what we're going to do is I peeled off the backing, and we're just going to make the shaker. So you just want to make sure that you line that up with your things. So now some of them are stuck in the middle. As you shake them and loosen them up, they will move around. All right, so now we have that done. And this, I haven't decided if I like it this way or if I like it this way. So it just depends on which way you want your shaker to go. Um, the, but the beauty of this foiled frame is you can do it either way. So I think, hmm, nothing like design in the card as we go. So I think I like it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add two foam squares right here and right here. And we're going to attach the sentiment. And we are just about done. And jingle, jingle from the dogs. They're about ready to go for their walk. All right, so I have a little bit of something there. So I'm just going to grab an eraser. i got to find it first. Here it is. Probably should have things on my table when I'm filming, but I don't. All right, so this is just a sand eraser, and it's going to take that little bit of a smudge off. All right, so if you tap this a little bit, you'll get your sequins to move around and loosen up so it's a full shaker. So now we're going to go ahead and put it on the card base. So I have gone ahead and cut this. This is four and a quarter by 11 and it's tall. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this on there like this. Now, because it already has dimension from the shaker, we don't need to add more. So I'm just gonna attach this with some liquid glue and make sure that it's centered, but we are not done yet. So, um, if you saw my video the other day with the gift card holder, we are gonna make this into a gift card holder. So, because I cut the panel separately. So I cut this and I, um, I had two pieces there that I cut and didn't even know it. So I cut this for the gift card and then I don't want to just mount it in here plain white. I could have pre cut it into this, but I wanted to decorate this with some foiling. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So I've gone ahead and taken these little tiny etched, um, uh, glimmer plates and they come with your May kit of the month and I just go ahead and turn them upside down and line them up with the gift card things and I actually want them further as far away close to the edge so we're going to go ahead and take the washi tape and put that right in the center and you want to tack it down but you don't want it to stick to your paper so then what you're going to do is I'm heating up my machine and you're going to want to turn these over and you're going to want to put them pretty much on the center of your machine. So I have this lined up with number six, seven, maybe it's eight, it's eight actually. All right. So um, one trick so your fingers don't stick to the washi to line it up is to fold the edge over like that it doesn't really matter. It's really just for lining it up. So you can see I have it lined up. Um, the washi tape 
that way there it's straight so it's lined up across the grid line so what, what's going to happen is you're going to put your paper um, you're going to line your paper up so it's right even with the dies it just takes a little bit of patience to get this right so now you can go ahead and make sure these things are lined up with your washi tape so it kind of takes some of the guesswork out because now you can't actually see through the foil. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your foil and you're going to cut um, a, two small pieces. Because you don't want to foil everything, so you just really need a little bit. So I'm just going to cut this and I'm going to cut this. And so remember, foil side down or you will foil your plates. Okay, so I've trimmed this down to three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and I'm going to mount it on a piece of gold matte cardstock that I had in my stash. So it's going to go on like this, and we are going to attach a gift card and then put it on the inside of the card. So I'm just going to use some liquid glue for now because this is what I have on my table. So a little bit of liquid glue. We're going to go ahead and mount that right on the gold foil. And then we're going to go ahead and put it right on the inside of the card. And now we're ready to attach the gift card. So the gift card that I have, don't laugh, it, on my table is um, Starbucks. Because I have the same one from another video. So I'm just going to grab it out of the other holder. So here we go. It has a touch of gold on it, so it actually matches. So then we're just going to go ahead and slip that right in to the holder. And then you have a really beautiful card for Mother's Day that holds a gift card holder. So clearly this would be better if for a restaurant or maybe you give Starbucks, but this is a really beautiful card and it can hold a gift card holder. All right, thanks for joining me today.